Let's try this out. Mm -hmm. I forgot there's almost no internet in this room. It's going to take us a little bit. The suspense. Ah, yes. I will play in English. Oh, goodness. This is all... This is all I can pick from, huh? Hmm. Hmm? Will it let me? It actually will! It actually will let me! Oh, goodness, okay, let's change my hairstyle. I'm gonna turn this over to the side here. Uh... Oh, I have to look at them to... Gosh, I hope that's not a sign of my, uh, um, Dracon Drift. There we go. Okay, ponytail. I don't... Well, let's look at the rest. <clears throat> that's a pompadour? That does not look like a pompadour. <laughs> Bowl cut if I really want to go to the galactic yards. Yes. Let's see what we can do with the look. Hmm. No, stop rotating. No, stop rotating. Five looks pretty good. Six looks pretty good. Let's go with six. A little sassy there. <clears throat> I don't have like really big eyes. <laughs> Enrollment application. Uva Academy. Language English. I've apparently been crafting. <laughs> And yes, I've heard about the, like, data leak or whatever it's called. Memory leak. As you can see, by the way, I put a nice uh, public domain image of purple grapes down there. Leading to the way in the future while valuing our individuality. Bunch of Japanese school children all went, HACKS! It's time for you, too, to dive into the world of Pokemon! Hi, Nimona. <clears throat> Director Clavel, head of Uva Academy. Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It's also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Hi, Pommy. Oh, hello. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Pokemon can be found living all over. In the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Uva Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. My goodness, look at that suit that teacher's wearing. Holy crap! Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. <gasps> Black Tauros! And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle growing alongside them. I also saw that thing they were studying was that mushroom. A robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. We, the faculty and staff at Uva Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. <laughs> ah, here we go. <laughs> oh, there we go, okay. I was gonna say the frame rate was- Ooh, little birds! The frame rate was a little choppy, but now it's okay. Something's going wrong. I saw its eye flickering earlier, but I thought that was, you know, just part of how it functions. <gasps> the Pompadour bird is real! The Pompadour parrots! <laughs> and I have them in my house! <laughs> See, now that's a Pompadour! Your bat and hat, bag and hat are hanging here, but it's not time to get ready yet. So I have the Paldea region. This house would be down in the lower part. Is this the... the? It's a new Nintendo Switch system. This one's got a bigger screen. Is it? Does it do the Animal Crossing? Uh, I guess it's not the Animal Crossing thing, is it? The Animal Crossing thing is you buy... There's different Switches. But does it match the ones you're using? your very own wardrobe adorned with Pokemon stickers. <laughs> it's a little bothersome to me that it's not telling me where there's interactables. Your mom built these shelves yourself. They're neatly decorated with your belongings. Looks like I got some albums there. Maybe some autographed art. A hoppet planter. A oh, picture of a tropical locale. <laughs> it's the Squovit plush made you care using nice soft material. You know what? I like Squovit. I like Greedent. Alright? I think they're cute. I'm trying to... Oh. Oh! Oh, it's not letting me rotate the whole way. I would not want a bedroom that's just open like this. This painting is entitled Stretching Woman. It's enchanting! It's just not like dancing, it's just stretching, huh? This painting is entitled Windmills and Sky. You can almost feel the invigorating breeze. It's one of your mom's house plants. Careful not to knock it over. <gasps> this cardboard box is sure are heavy for being so small. What could be inside? This painting is entitled Before Juicing. It just emanates freshness. 
This artwork is entitled Patchwork Light. It's got different colors of paper pasted together. I'm trying to push the start button. Oh, there we go. Options. Uh... I want to just do when I want to save. <sighs> uh. Uh. Mm. Okay, so confirm. Yes, I would. But I still don't have any uh, real movement options, huh? It's a big plant in a vase. There are flowers blooming on it. I really want to have movement options. This painting is entitled Street Midday. It depicts a beautiful town in a different region. We haven't seen any towns like that, have we? Perhaps that's a Gen 10. It looks adobe, so maybe Mexico? I mean, they got houses like that in Arizona, but the Ori region was a desolate wasteland, so I wouldn't really count that. A substitute doll! There's a first aid kit, a plush toy, and more atop the shelf. You can't reach up there, though. It defeats the purpose of putting a first aid kit there. This room's just used for storage. You don't need to go in. It's not mom's room or anything? Lots of flowers are blooming in the backyard. It's go of its bed. There are drool stains on it. Ugh. Maybe we could get a washing machine put it in here, huh? Oh, wow. Now to every which way, every kind of sandwich, any way you want. Our subs are handmade by pros and perfect for picnics. Every which way. <laughs> it's weird how it... Um, I'm lost. I'm lost. Oh, there we go. That's, that's weird. They won't let me sit. Mancha. Hey, aren't you cute? I think I told you about the issue we've had in our backyard. You may have seen that I've uh, posted a video of some skunks in the catio. One day, Dad asked me, Do you know anything about domesticating skunks or skunks as pets? I'm like, Dad, Dad, you cannot take a skunk from the wild, okay? <laughs> Good morning, Blackjack. Oh, already in your uniform and everything? I'm just going to go my Renoa voice. Well, it is your first day at your new school after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. There we go. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Blackjack at the door, would you? I can't look at the peppers. At least it leads out towards the vegetable garden. Let her use the front door if you want to go out. Oh my god, why do I walk so slow? Give me a B button. Do forgive the intrusion. The headmaster is making the rounds himself. You are Miss Blackjack, yes? Just Blackjack will be fine. On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. This is almost my Chairman Rose voice, except not British. It's also almost my Emmerich voice, but not British. How is it almost two different British voices? 
But not British. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Uve Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. I'm totally not up to anything. Squavit, what are you doing back there? The director? And you came in person to help my daughter with her first day? Mom, I'm non-binary. We've talked about this. Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. This school does not have its shit together, does it? That bag wasn't there a second ago. Goodness, you really needn't have... Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, no need to trouble yourself. Blackjack, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head on up back to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Now, Mr. Clavel, you must simply join me for a cuppa this way. Do they say a cuppa in Spain? Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? D I do not think that's a Spanish expression. Okay, and now you're just already seated. I, I would like to look at the the peppers hanging on the wall. Th th there's no there's no text. The nice big sick Okay, so they felt that was important to tell me that the nice big sick is kept sparkly clean. But I can't the peppers don't have any flavor text. Mom, put your pills away, please. It's an induction stove. You should get your mom's help if you're going to use it. It's the new fridge you bought when you moved. There are sandwich ingredients in it. The the oranges. The, the, the apples, please. I. There are lots of fresh, juicy, juicy looking fruits. <laughs> As I plod back upstairs. <sighs> Grab your coat and hat. It's your soft, fluffy bed. It's got a lovely sun warmed scent. Ready to put on your hat and grab your bag? Yes. No, I thought I'd plod around the house a little more. Okay, what? what's the point of picking my ponytail if it's not going to come out the back of the hat? Huh? Huh? I'm tugging on my ponytail right now. <sighs> Seriously, you put your hat on like this. And the ponytail should be visible underneath. Uh, but no, look at that, it's a bare neck underneath. Oh my god, this walk speed. Oh, just look at you, all ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Ah! Oh, gracious, how very careless of me. That's the old uniform, my god. I'd entirely forgotten something else to free you, Miss Blackjack. Just Blackjack is fine. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for to get a ferry. Follow me outside? I don't know, we've got an enormous living room. I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? Mom, you live in the storage room? Do you? Okay, let's see some of those pompadour parrots. Let's see them. Let's see them on my roof. Aw, they flew off. I walked so slow that they flew off. Oh, we got peppers hanging up. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs. I already know my starter's gonna be, I gotta pick Fui Coco. And I know I did a poll on YouTube. And I asked 
what you thought of the following names. And people mostly voted for Tabasco, but I'm not going to go with Tabasco. One, I like another name better. Two, every time I would say it, I would have to say it in Homestar's, Homestar Runner's voice. Tabasco! In that weird, wet, strained way that he said it. I can't even actually do it, but... He said it in this weird, strained way, and it was hilarious, and I would find myself having to repeat that, and no. <laughs> they provide each student entering the Academy a Pokemon of their own. Ask you choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. Spear. Fikoko, the fire croc Pokemon. Not fire croc. Croc. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. Pop. <laughs> They're all very good company. Why they usually refuse to even leave my side. What's this? Hmm. So it turns out they're more interested in you, Miss Blackjack, than familiar old me. I told you, just Blackjack. Do wish I could stay and see which one you choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. Wait, so what am I supposed to do with the other two? I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Is Nimona loaded? Is, is, that, is that Nimona's house? Is she frickin' loaded? Now, excuse me. Until next we meet. What a mannerly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Mom, 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 look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Quick go go. Alright? <laughs> Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, did the background just suddenly shift? Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. <sighs> Oh, yay! <clears throat> a Pokemon called Rotom lives within it. It can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone! According to the instructions, you can check the map app by pressing the Y button. It'll help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go. Have fun! Don't let school ruin your life! I'm, tr I'm trying to talk to Quaxley here. There we go. Thank you. Enlightening. Can I... Whoa. That's funny. It's acting like the pumpkin is a sleep a steep slope. Whoa. It's acting like everything is a steep slope. Whoa. Hey, they'll go there. Look. Can I shake a shake? I cannot shake a shake. Darn it. Oh, what might this be? Oh! Okay, it's just side to side. Zero LP. The handy Rotom phone is a popular item used throughout the Paldea region. Adding apps to it gives a trader access to a variety of useful functions. Okay. Oh! Wait a minute. It's, it's really, really small on my screen. 
Are those the pompadour parrots? There's two green ones, a blue one, and a yellow one. <laughs> oh, okay. Look at this. I don't know. South Province Area 5. Okay, so it's not really gonna... Artisan West. Artisan East. Area 1. Levincia. Ah, I'm going into Kalos! No, that's the North Province? Oh, is that some ruins there? That's how ruins look in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> look at this circular area. That's funny. Ah, oh, I imagine we'll be going to those islands. Da, da, da. Montenvera. Montenevera. Glassadeo Gym. Dali Zappa Passage. Medali. Porto Marinada. Cascarafa. Are there dams over here? Oh, no, those are pathways, bridges. The Great Crater of Paldea. Okay. It's huge. Okay. Mesa Goza. We heard about that in the trailers. Los Platos. Oh! Wait. I see the tail. I see LeChonk's tail. So we can catch LeChonk pretty quickly. Well, in the original trailer, it was only level two, so yeah. Hey, why don't you guys want to come off the... Come with me. Can you... Are you only trained to stick to the path? Oh, there's something else back here. Mom, why do we have a wagon wheel? Seriously, Mom. At least grow some vines on it or something. I like. I love this house. I mean, I want my room to have four walls. Really, you guys? Really? Come on, we're supposed to be traversing the world together, not, you know, sticking just to the set paths. My goodness. What does my mom do that we can afford this? <laughs> I mean, if she spends... She has such an extensive garden. Oh, what? What'd you find? That's, that's it? That's it? Hey, hey, Sprigatito, catch up. Hmm, looks like we're growing some... Oh. I know I don't know what that is. I was gonna say some red kale, but... <laughs> this leads to the kitchen. Better use the front door if you want to go in. Why? It's a faucet for the garden. Better not turn it on willy-nilly. I want to get my new friends a drink. I have a feeling some of these camera issues are just linked to my um, having some uh, Dracon drift. 
two types of cabbage. Nice. Let's see if I can... Oh, there we go. Nice, juicy tomatoes. Yes. Okay, kids. Plod, plod, plod. Oh. What do you all want? Is it just you're looking at the scenery? Cabo Poco. Okay, I'm not actually trying to talk to them. I'm trying to see if the sign has any further information. Wait, I'm just running? It's Cabo Poco. It's not much, it's just a little pinch of community, but it's home. I'm actually running. I'm actually running, holy crap. Come on, everyone! Try and keep up! It's like I got past the sign and- Is this a technology, dude? Yes! The power of science is amazing! If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together! Up to four of you at a time! Ah. Uh, bless you, science is astounding, dude. Okay, kids. I need to take these three you can poke them on your neighbor's house down the way. No! I'm a renegade! Fine. There's probably people that have beaten the first gym by this point. Okay, that's good. Collision on items seems to be limited to just those items. Oh! I'm gonna run. I'ma keep on a running! A Digimon reference in my Pokemon? <laughs> oh, honey, you don't even know what I'm going to name my Smolov. Yeah, Smolov looks like a very specific Digimon to me, okay? <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's from the opening credits. Or not opening credits. This is the opening credits. No, this is the opening sequence. You know what I mean. The previews! It's from the previews! Frickin... <laughs> I don't know. Roasted Orange just doesn't seem to... Oh, it's her house. Oh, okay. No, it is Nimona's house. I'm sorry, I saw the black sleeve and I thought it was the the champion. Not quite, Miss Blackjack has yet to make her choice, you see. I do wonder which of them she'll choose as her first Pokemon. Buenas! We haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Yeah, well, I would have been here faster if I could run on my own property. Huh? Hang on, Director, is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our cat, every new student. Blackjack. They will be attending as of today. So you're that kid who moved in up the road! I've been trying to find out more about you. I'm Nimona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? I don't wanna. Love that enthusiasm! We're gonna get along just fine! Miss Nimona is president of our student council and a champion ranked trader in her own right. Really? Champion ranked? I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. 
Easy now. You two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. In the same class? She's like five years older than me! Then again, there's that Avery kid who looks like he's 25. So I want to know how the hell long he's been held back. And get to know each other better, of course. We're going to be neighbors and classmates. Nice! We'll be able to battle all we want. On that note, Blackjack... You decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner. <gasps> what happened to the textures? Ah? That's Sweet Coco, a fire type Pokemon. The burning hot sparks it scatters will fry any and all plants in a flash. Would you like to go with our good fire type Pokemon, Sweet Coco, here? Yes! Ah! You chose Fui Coco! Would you like to give Coco a nickname? Yes! Now, it's not Tabasco, so what is it? Ancho. <laughs> You're not a bird! Aw, oh, it's balancing! Aw, oh, he's so cute! <laughs> Free Coco seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Blackjack. The first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. Uh, I've been responsible for that squirrel for a while. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. <laughs> Blackjack, I can't believe you actually chose Fuikoko. I mean, like, we need to make the perfect choice for you! You did make such a good combo! A co good combo! <laughs> Can I choose one of these Pokemon to Director Clavel? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? How is she a champion level trainer then? <sighs> not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon aside Blackjack while they raise their own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Blackjack here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Since Blackjack tries to be Coco, I'll go for this little one and make things harder on yourself, huh? She seems like she likes a challenge. Nice to meet you, Sprigatito. Welcome to the team. <laughs> All right, then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. Oh. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. As you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle that will help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. You're gonna... Nah. Um... So I'm going to check something. Did that use the Pokeball that we found earlier? Oh, no, it did not. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Skid. Skid needs a love. Skid marks past the places that you used to love. <laughs> Is there any way to get the map to just orient to north? I think I last did this before I had the map. Uh, helping. Uh. Oh! 
You can choose whether helping functions will be activated when you fall from a great height. We are playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> okay. I would really like to just orient my map to north. I don't want to have a constantly spinning map. Is that possible? Over here! I want to just investigate this sitting area. I don't want to go too far, but... Yeah, see, in some games, they won't let you go past something like that. Yeah, I'm not a playtester, so I'm not going to go real far. Oh, wow. Oh, come on! It's only up to your shorts. Uh, oh, man. Hmm. Will there be... Oh. Oh, wait. Hang on. What did I do to open the map? Oh, please. Okay. There! There we go. Uh. No! I want it to be always north, please. Always north. Minimap included. I'm just really just going to face the other way the whole time. <laughs> Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So you're to battle me, Blackjack. Perfecto! I'm so excited. For this battle, I think I'll use... Miss Nimona. I trust you remember that Blackjack is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. You take that back, old man! <laughs> Good call, Director. I was about to send one of my usual partners right off the bat. <sighs> Guess I'll take this chance to try out my new buddy instead. Come on, Blackjack. Let's have us a fruitful battle. Get it? Because we're going to Grapes Academy. Mew. <laughs> Sounds like a burp. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. Making a lot of assumptions. has been studying up. Smart move. Fire strike against grass. Isn't this kind of beaten in us by the time like everything in our culture revolves around these critters? Did Fray Coco just kind of flash in and out of existence there for a second? Wow, not bad, neighbor. She gave me three dollars. Look at you winning your first battle ever. You got even more potential than I thought. You need to be a strong trainer for sure. But now I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again, just one more battle. Nimona, you have some problems. This is a school day. Black Jack and the Free Coco, surely we are ready from that last battle. Ah, uh, sorry. I got kind of caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry, Black Chick. Seen here if we Coco, too. Oh, definitely. We'll definitely battle more. Nimona, you have a problem. You, team, you seem to be becoming past friends, although you only just met. Can I count on you to take a new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure they can learn a great deal from a champion ranked trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. That reminds me. 
Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. Oh, no, that's Mimona talking. They both turn to me. There's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. The Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. <laughs> it's a super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, actually made it himself. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. It's quite the age we live in now. Ah, filing on a, Pokemon, a Pokedex by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would take. I can. <laughs> uh, no, I suppose you can't. You know how many times made how, how much the time may change? Ugh, I don't know what what's wrong with my reads tonight. Yet, no matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. That is truly timeless pleasure. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you'll f both work hard towards the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Mr. Mona, I still do have a few matters to discuss with your parents. But I depend on you to see Blackjack to the Academy. You'd be doing me quite the favor. Of course, leave it to me. It's my grade point average, isn't it? And I, le I leave them in your capable hands. All right, little one, this time you and I were on our way. Oh. Uh, maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with all my battling. Oh, right. Yeah, school. Uh, speaking of Pokedexes, Blackjack, you've probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the Academy. Come with me. Um, okay. I really want my mini map to stay facing north. I want to look around the grounds a little. Stroll around the grounds until you feel at home. Here's to you, Miss Nimona. Jesus, this is an enormous house. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I say is, please, Miss Nimona, what the hell do your parents do for a living? Are you loaded? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Blackjack. I have the Nimona here will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So I've already managed to make a friend. Mom, mom, she's, um, uh, <laughs> she's really aggressive and she's kind of like Barry, but with less of an emphasis on running around everywhere. And I read all about the wonderful teachers you'll have looking after you at the school. That's almost my Aerith voice. And I read about the wonderful teachers you'll have looking after you at the school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your new friend, Nimona, and it looks like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Now, you'll be staying in the school dorm, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. It's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. Sandwich from mom. This is going to be one of those things that people will want to st keep in their inventories for the entire game, right? Sandwich, a dish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat, or other ingredients between two pieces of bread. It makes a fantastic meal when out on a picnic. Oh, and maybe you better take these, too. 
Use them on that precious little partner of yours to shake and hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all, the good times and the hard times too. Sooner or later you'll be on your own with a kid who leaves you to go to school somewhere else. You'll be off in a foreign region and you'll be home all day with just a squirrel for company. If you ever want to come home, you know your bed is always ready for you. All right, then. You two had better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Your mother's so nice, Blackjack. <gasps> oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, vamos! This way! Uh-huh. Yeah, you could just let me... Yeah. There. Oh my gosh. Portico Path. Really wish this actually said something. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, damn it. There's an item there. All right, this here is Poco Path. <gasps> What's that little white thing? It's a path that leads to adventure for you and me. Goodness, what are those? Out here, things are different than in town. You're going to see wild Pokemon out and about. You're going to be on the path and in the grass and such. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle. But you got free Coco for that, right? Do you want to try to catch a Pokemon? you got to use a good old Pokeball. I've got tons. Have a few. Link, link. Oh, what luck. Time for some learning. What am I doing, doing? Try battling this little chonk, Blackjack. Wow, I just teleported into place. Yay! Lechonk was caught! This Pokemon spurns off all but the finest foods. Its fighting gives off an herb-like scent that both Pokemon detest. Yes, I would. <laughs> Why not Pichon? Because that's what I named my Tepig back in Gen 5. Ryoga has been added to your party. No, I can get any little bandanas. Yay. <sighs> that was awesome! Hala, that was awesome. You got the very first Pokemon you went for. I'm crumbing when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, have some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. Yay. 
Weaken the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember that and you'll be fine. Now, go battle those white Pokemon and catch some of them. I want to see those white ones. Let's meet up at that lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. Okay, interesting. Pokeball set up by using the ZR button. Can I actually get up here? I can! <coughs> More items! <coughs> It doesn't lock on. I, I can't really. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it actually worked. Okay, let's see here. Oh, Lechonk! Hi, Lechonk! Oh, that's cute! Give it a little nod. Oh, that's... That's not you? Then who are you? How'd you get up here? What's the point of splashing? Da -da -da -da. And check it out, Lechonk is floating. Metro learned around. Interesting. Okay. Outside of cold regions, Hopip can be found practically everywhere. This is because the wind carries the species all over the world. Hmm. Cottonweed Pokemon. I know a good name for you. Dogwood. You okay? Oh! Sorry, it looked like you were stressing out, but all right. Do, 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 do. Oh, there we go. Okay, I want to know. I want to know what those white things were. Do, 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 do. I would like to hit that thing up there. There's one over here. Hello. Is that, oh, is that a spike? Oh. Tarantula.
It's like... It reminds me of a paper wasp, but it's a spider. Goodness. Uh... Hmm. Goodness gracious, what... What should I name it? Tarantula. Tarantula. Let's see what it says. I gained tarantula thread that way. The thread it secretes from its rear is as strong as wire. The secret beyond the thread's strength is the topic of ongoing research. Oh, oh, I see. String ball Pokemon. Okay, I see what it is now. Okay, yeah. It was reminding me of a paper wasp, but yeah, now I see it's um, a spool of thread. Spool! That sounds like a good name. I was thinking, I could name it after my sewing teacher, but her name is Mary Jane, and that might get a little um, <clears throat> misconstrued. into any more little chunks. I just want to get this. Oh, there's another one up here. Da -da 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 Nice, a super potion. Run, 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 run! Ah, it's up on top. Um, it's up on top. A revive, nice. Do items respawn, by the way? I want to know if I can... Uh... Okay, so you just get up there anyway. Okay. So, yeah. Looks like in lieu of Skyrimming it all the way up and just find... Oh, hello. And just finding the seam where you can climb up everywhere. Then I'm just... Oh, I can come back to that later. <laughs> that positioned me almost off the cliff. Scatterbug! Hi, Scatterbug! I haven't seen you in a while. weird. Look at the grass in the background. It all seems to follow the same... Well, it did all seem to follow the same texture. Okay. This Pokemon scattered poisonous powder to repel enemies. It will eat different plants depending on where it lives. The scatter dust Pokemon. Oh, golly. Uh... Let's give it a fun... Uh... 
Okay. I, um... I, uh... Check summary. Oh, good. Change nickname. Um... What's a fun name for a bug? Uh, let's see. I, well, since we we know this from a previous gen, so we know it's evolutionary line. Um, oh. Worldwide. <laughs> okay. More potions. So if I go back, I can catch Palmy, right? Let's try that. Let's try to go catch Palmy. This means I have to go this way to catch Pommy. This map is really kind of odd. It says that I... Oh, that's where I have to go! Okay, that's where I... Okay, I thought that's where it said I was going. Okay. <laughs> I can conquer small ledges. Oh, what's this? Oh! Oh! Wait, I saw a blue glimmer. That wasn't shiny, so... What is the blue glimmer? I thought it was trying to point out an important item that wasn't one of these. Yep. Yeah. No, LeChonk just had it too. An ether. Is it a great ether? It's probably people already skyrimming up the cliffs. Come here. No, they can't shaky shaky the Wow, okay. Yes, yes, I know. That's where I'm headed. Hey, Blackjack, you getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? Let me see. So far, you've caught... <gasps> Whoa, what was that? Never heard that kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. I say we find out what man ever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Blackjack. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. Now, know your rudder phone can help you safe. Can help keep you safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyway. Odom's gonna do about me walking off a cliff. Oh, maybe that's that intervention thing it was talking about. Okay. I'm like really afraid of heights, so I'd be like down on all fours and just kind of looking. There we go. There we go. Puppy dog noises. They seem to be floating.
Oh boy. <laughs> so, Rotom has an anti grav shield or something? <laughs> Mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Can give it something to help it perk up. Uh oh. I have to get Mom's sandwich. C can I give it the? I. Yep. It's basically telling me I need to give it the sandwich. Interesting. So it wants to go in the cave. Okay. Well. Nimona! Nimona! I need your help! Rotom, are you catching this? Well, she did say kinda unsafe, not wildly dangerous, or suicidally tempestuous, or... C could use those boosters to get up. Don't know where I'm going. All I got knows where I've been. Ah, uh, frick, I gotta do this. I can't climb the trees. I don't know to go in the cave. Inlet Grotto. Suddenly, suddenly I can't run anymore. Now I can. It makes this kind of unsafe. It looks nice. Oh, hey, I can... Oh, it's waiting for me. Oh, ye Blackjack! Oh, wow, it's a bigger cave than I thought. There you are, Blackjack. You okay? You're not hurt, right? Thank goodness, I was really worried. I've gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry. No, never mind. Right now I've got to focus on getting you back up here. you just got to find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. What's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. Kind of like it's waiting for you. I didn't get to see the rest of what she said. Oh. Um... It's kind of hampered by the fact that I could see directly through the wall. That's amazing. Pokemon may be strong as mine, maybe stronger. <laughs> Hi. <laughs>
That's the level two. I'm gonna go for it. Dink, dink, dink. Da 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 da. Not even the da 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 da. Yengoose fur times two. It spends its waking hours searching endlessly for food. When young goose is hungry, its ferocity gains a certain edge. Is the loitering Pokemon? Hmm. You know, they're based on detectives, so... Yeah, that's why the evolution looks you know, like it does. It's, uh, <clears throat> not actually based on certain American politicians slash personalities. <laughs> Despite the strong resemblance. And yes, that was my first reaction when I saw it. You can probably go back. Oh, Diglets. Hello, Diglets. Hello. No, you sneaking up on me, you see me. On you, you see me. <laughs> Dings cut. Okay. What's a good... Oh my goodness, its skin is very thin. If it's exposed to light, its blood heats up, causing it to grow weak. That's really disturbing! Um... What I'm gonna name you is... The New Madrid Fault. Uh... Yep. I am familiar with the concept! I'm right here, it's okay. Oh. Well, that'll lead me to another part. Oh, okay. Uh, more of them! Bad dogs! Bad dogs! They have that felty look that the... <laughs> that Animal Crossing villagers do. Hey, heads up! Some pretty rough and ruddy Pokemon. Glad you got your bodyguard, but watch out! <laughs> I didn't want to even see that last bit. Okay, I'm here. Get yeah, thank you. Oh my gosh, it straight up pulverized that rock. Whatever that move was, man, I gotta see it up close. Can I please run? Why does it turn off the run button at random points? Blackjack, look up! Something's coming. Okay, no, I wasn't walking. I was standing next to it. Behind you! It's behind you! Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Level 40. There's no way you could run from this opponent. Your hands are so trembling so badly you can't pull items out of your bag? Rip off! Wait, it didn't even do actual damage. It just scared Free Coco off. Slap! That's right! Bitch! Tail slaps a damaging move and I use it! <laughs> 
<laughs> How many are there? And only one of you bothered to evolve? Hey! Up here, quick! Just my ear and a voice. <laughs> <sighs> Way to go. For a second, I thought you were both goners. Whoa. What's wrong? Maybe it used up all its power. That's a statement, not a question. What is this Pokemon, anyway? It kind of looks like a Cyclozar, but I've never seen one quite like this before. It looks so different from a moment ago. You think it's okay? You can't tell either, huh, Blackjack? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. Yeah, that battle down there was really something. Even this fellow looked perfectly in sync facing down that houndu. Uh, you didn't even tell her what to do? I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Oh good, looks like it perked up a little. Do you think this fellow was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? Yes. Oh man, oh man, oh man. The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's just change numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. Not that your reception will be worth anything in a cave, but... Hmm, she's got a black case. And here, this will let you teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger opponents. Swift, really? Okay. <clears throat> I mean, it's better than tackle, but... Think before you use it, though, Tiamska. Only be used once. <clears throat> You've both been through enough for a minute. I think we better take a breather. It's like, what the hell just happened to her? Okay, it's a scene transition. Let's look into the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. What's that tinkling noise? Huh. Huh, okay. Huh. And somehow she's going to beat me there, isn't she? Hello, piggy. Ah. Is that, uh... Irvin? Why that little... What are you doing out here? Good night. Oh, good night. I'll be down in a few minutes. I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're under all the humanities track, right? Aren't you the son? Oh, really? Just saw that professor, that Pokemon researcher, Professor Turo. <sighs> Doesn't matter who my dad is. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here. And what is with this form it's in? See, we heard the strange cry and we tried to investigate, but Blackjack fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved them, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterwards. Just I've seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. <sighs> oh, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight when it's like this. The form Miraidon takes in battle, that's its true form. Miraidon? 
Is that this Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? Rabbit. <sighs> Can't go in the lab. It's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the Academy too, do, do you? Rhinon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What kind of Pokemon is it? I think you're up to, up to ordering the Rhydon around. Then how about I test your worthiness? <laughs> Look at you, quite the little go-getter. You might say I'm a team go-getter out of the gate. I've been feeling all out all sorts of things. <clears throat> I've been feeling all out of sorts, so I'm gonna use this battle to blast these doldrums away. Hi, Squovet. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth, and I want it gone. I'm all healed up again. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> right on server there. Like, oh man, looks like it's got an itch on its neck, but it quits quite. Can't reach it. Can't quite reach it. <laughs> Ryuga learned disarming voice. Fel Noir learned leer. Seems you know a thing or two about battle. He also gave me three bucks. Okay. I keep wanting to end this session, but I thought I would do so after we reached the lighthouse. Not all the episodes are going to be this long. Wow, Blackjack, that was awesome. I guess I wasn't going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. <sighs> If you really think you can take Maridon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's a Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. Obtain Maridon's Pokeball! Yay! Key items! Pokeball that can hold the mysterious Pokemon known as Maridon. A boy named Arvin gave it to you. That is a grown-ass man! He is not one of my classmates. This man is 25 years old if he's a day. So why do you have it? <clears throat> anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. What? Hi! Can you not hear me or something? Fine, be that way. But you better actually show up for school. What a weirdo. <sighs> That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm gonna wring some answers out of him. Oh, right. We gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. I, I, I could see it when he ran off. I could see the school. I... Also, why do I need to live in the dorm if I live this close to the school? South Province, Area 1. <gasps> Wingles! And they just vanished into thin air. Look, Blackjack, that's Mesagoza. Mesagoza. That huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. It's going to be so great having you in the same class, Blackjack. All that schoolwork. 
Don't think of it as schoolwork. Think of it as tons of chances to learn about Pokemon battling. We get a full curriculum in this school, right? Is it just all Pokemon all the time? Or... I mean, you said Arvin was in the humanities. This world baffles and confuses me. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff as far as the eye can see. <sighs> you know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. Consider me this, this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. Anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. Vamos! Come on! I keep waiting for there to be like a title screen or something. Oh. Hello. Okay, so I am going to just save it here. And that will be our first episode. I gotta take a breather and get a get the upload set up. And then I record another episode. I'm going to be doing this a little striated. I guess not. That's probably not the right word to use. A little staggered out. Um, I'm going to record some episodes at a go. Then I'm going to upload them, you know, like... What do you think? Every day or every other day? I'll do every other day at first. See how that goes. All right, well, that has been it for Blackjack's first episode in the Paldea region. So, um, thank you for joining me. <laughs>